Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this module, we define wrinkling in a most practical fashion. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. My definition of wrinkling is when the web is not dead flat, like a tabletop or a pane of glass. Who has webs that flat, you say? No one, but that is beside the point. So is it wrinkled? No, you say, that's pretty darn flat. That's some of the best material we've ever made. I don't know what the problem is. Nobody's complaining about this. and We're not getting any customer complaints. I don't know. Maybe we should call somebody over here. Oh, it's wrinkled. That's a QA wrinkle. And we will let QA or the customer define their threshold of pain however they want because that's their business. But we as troubleshooters do not need to wait until this is folded over on itself because we can see this wrinkle way, 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 way down here long before anybody ever complains. Everything is in front of us to make that read. All we need to do is look. The distinction between a soft wrinkle and a hard wrinkle is merely one of severity. A soft wrinkle indicates risk. A hard wrinkle indicates you ignored the risk. By some models, if you see troughs in the open web span, you are already halfway to failure as a hard wrinkle. In summary, the troubleshooter works in the open web span. This is where you get the most information and where you get it sooner. Don't be blindsided by waiting until a wrinkle crosses the roller. Everything you need to know is in the open web span. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. If you want to learn much, much more about wrinkling and related topics, see my Web 101 Video On Demand training series.